Sir, wait, sir. Wait, sir. Please wait, sir. We are making a note of it. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is asking a question. Transportation model. In that, we are covering the first topic. Yeah, operations. Do you want us to write that uh, second table also, sir, which is below down second, the line? Second table, you can uh, write now, not required. It is for my calculation. Okay. Of all the subjects, we are feeling this subject only very difficult, sir. Generally, even inside the classroom, I remember uh, uh, up to 120 students, up to 50 to 60 students used to fail in the subject. When we cover the physical mode, okay, yeah. uh, it is because we are doing a lot of small calculations, uh, what you call fourth standard, fifth standard calculations. These calculations uh, only uh, certain people can do it fast. Not only that, sir, to, under, to understand that concepts also, okay. it is becoming a bit difficult, sir, Concept, Ramakrishnan, sir. Concepts are uh, very powerful in the sense today, almost all the companies they are using, started using this thing, uh, transportation model, assignment model, uh, per CPM. Sir, could you be able, able to see the problem? Hey, problem is there now. Sir, if we observe the total here, either horizontal row or vertical, uh, this one, the total is not, uh, uh, the total is not, maybe how to understand that? 60, 90, 100, 125. Um, uh, here, here, 1, 3, 4, 3, 7, 11, 14, but it is 20 here. Here, this 1, is 2, 4, 8, 13, 2, 15, it is 20, 30. Yeah. I'm not getting. 30, Sir, this is horizontal. Will not total. This is, I told in the last class, from factory 1 to destination 1, if it's 1 unit, 1 rupee is the transportation cost. If you send from factory 1, origin 1, to Another place mm. that is market to every one unit transportation cost is increased. the numbers inside they are all transportation cost this total will not okay. equal to three okay transportation cost per unit transportation cost O1 to D1 every one rupee you are sending or every one unit you are sending you will be 
uh, spending 1 rupee every one unit from factory 1 to market 2 you will be spending 2 rupee per unit every factory 1 to market 3 every one unit you are spending you are supposed to spend 1 rupee same product you from factory 1 to market 4 you will be spending 4 rupees so the number maybe the distance may be more Last class itself, we have discussed this part. Under the factory 1 availability is 30, factory 2 availability is 50, factory 3 availability is 75, factory 4 availability is 20, demand at market 120, demand at market 240, 30, 10, 50, and 170, uh, total 175. When demand, when we have a case, when the demand equal to supply, we call it as balanced transportation model. This one also I gave the explanation in the last class. We call it as balanced transportation problem, balanced TP. We will solve the problem of getting initial location by using a method called Northwest Corner method. Northwest corner method. So in the northwest corner, we have to take the table, I take the empty table with the demand and supply. Then I, I identify what is the northwest position of the table. So northwest position of the table is cell 1-1. The cell 11 is the northwest position. So the market requirement 20 units, demand is 30. So this happy one to the entire market. The D1 can get something from factory 1, something from factory 2, something from factory 3, something from factory 4, but total it needs 20. So the current situation northwest corner says the entire demand for the market D1 can be given from the 30. So I compare the number 20, I compare the number 30, the lowest is 20, that means this 20 can be given here, the 20 is cancelled. The availability 30 units are available, that is reduced now 10. That is the first allocation. I compare demand, I compare supply, Demand is 20, supply is 30, so I compare demand and supply, the entire demand 20 can be taken from the 30. So the first allocation is made to the cell, this is the cell 1-1, we are making allocation, that is factory 1 is supplying to market 1. Now the market 1 entire 20 is coming from factory 1 so there is no need to consider the remaining places I just remove the remaining places that is from factory 2 factory 3 factory 4 need not supply anything to market 1 that is the reason we are cancelling the column so that is the first step I compare what is the demand, I compare what is the supply, so demand is lesser, supply is more, I cancel the demand, entire demand is fulfilled from the factory 1. So factory 1 initially it was having 30, now it is reduced to 10. Now the reduced table, what is the northwest position? The reduced table, what is the northwest position? Cell number? C12. 12. 12 is the northwest position. D2, O1, D2 is the northwest position. 12. Cell 12 is the northwest position. Market 2 requirement is 40. But factory 1 can give only 10 units. So I allocate 10 units here. So the 10 units, the 
the 10 units are fulfilled out of 40 it is reduced to 30 that you are giving 10 units to the market 2 now factory 1 initially it was having 30 20 units given to market 1 10 units given to market 2 so that means this factory cannot supply to D3, D4, D5, D6 so I am just cancelling these portions so first step I compare 20 and 30 I give the entire 20 cancel the 30 reduce to 10 then I compare what is the north west position 10 1 2 is the north west position factory availability 10 market requirement the 40 so 10 is given till the market needs 30 minutes in the meantime factory 1 this factory 1 finished 30 20 gone here 10 gone here now is the reduced table what is the north west position cell number cell number 2 to the north west position what is the availability 50 units what is the requirement 50. so 30 units can be given entire 30 units requirement can be made from the 50 so the 50 is reduced to 20 20 so 20 the market to entire market to 40 is required 10 is coming from factory 1 30 is coming from factory 2 so that means I don't need anything from factory 3 or factory 4 so I block I remove now again in the reduced table what is the north west position cell number 2 3 L number 2 3 2 3 requirement L number 2 3 2 3 that is market 3 requirement is 30 market requirement is 30 requirement is 30 factory 2 can give 20 20 yeah 2 uh, yeah I put the 20 here so what will happen out of the 30 20 is given, 10, 10 more is needed, 10. entire 20 10 gone. That means no. factory, factory 2, we can give 10. So 20. Then, again in the reduced table, north west question. Cell number? 3, 3. 3, 3. Market requirement 10. So the 10 is given, market requirement 10. The 10 is given this availability is reduced to 65. 65. 65. So the factory requirements not required for market 3, we remove. Yeah. In the remaining table again, what is not west? Cell number 3, 4. So market requirement 10. So we yeah. remove reduce to 55. 55 and uh, this 10 is removed and it is again in the reduced place reduced table cell number 35 three market requirement yes sir 35 50. 3, 5. 3, 5. So 50 is given is market given. requirement 55. 50 available 55 yeah five five balance correct so, balance. Yeah. so that this market requirement is over 50 is over so we left out finally with one column where availability 5 where five. availability 20 25. requirement 20. so find out what is the total cost yeah.
find out what is FD cost. What is the total cost? Means uh, we have to go to the previous table and uh, ah. here how many units are there and take the cost from the table and uh, calculate. Yes, yes. 20 ah. into 1, n into 2, 30 into 3, 20 into 2. One component, 10, 20 into 1, 20 rupees or 20,000, whatever be the 10 into 2, again another 20, 30 into 3, 680. 90, 680. So, total cost we found out, we found out 680. To check. Six eighty is the total cost of allocation. This is the estimation. The initial allocation it is a kind of rough estimation. For rough estimation itself, there are three different procedures. For rough estimation, we are doing this is one rough estimation. So northwest corner. How do we arrive six eighty is the conclusion? I told you, you have to multiply twenty into one. 10 into 2, 30 into 3, 20 into 2, 10 into 5, 20 into 10 2, into next, 10 into 5. Yeah, I had all the numbers. You get 680. Somebody found out. Clear, sir. <coughs> then 50 into 6 is there, sir. 50 into what 6 is, is there. Yeah, yeah. 50 Answer, into 6 it. is there. That's okay, sir. Yes. Fifty into 6, 5 into 2. You are, you, the corresponding question is multiply. Sir, can you repeat, sir? Sir, corresponding questions you multiply 20 units into 1 rupee, 10 units into 2 rupee, 30 units into 3. The respective questions you multiply per unit transportation cost, how many units you are spending? You are spending 20 units. Sir, I think it's 740. One rupee. It is 740, I guess. You check. Sir, even I am getting 740, sir. 740, sir. Not 680. Sir, 740. 740 is the 740, initial sir. 740 is the initial transportation cost. It is 740. Yes. Then. So, allocation, we have done three problems using northwest corner method. So, north, north, west, we solved the three problems. The three problems, they have a major disadvantage. The steps, sometimes I remember they are mention various steps in northwest corner method so the first one what is the first step so compare identify northwest cell then compare whichever is lowest allocate to the cell either cancel the row or column 
whichever is lower then the reduced table again you are finding what is the north west position then again compare supply and demand then whatever be the lowest supply then cancel the row or demand or supply which is exhausted so this is a one occasionally i have seen as a five mark question in two question papers don't ask what are all the things because i i see lot of question papers in the i have seen this question paper various steps in north west corner method then what are the advantage of north west corner method it is quick to solve that is the one uh, advantage what is the disadvantage of north west corner method the cost Means cost is not uh, sending, not considered. Sending the product to market with the lowest cost. So that is the main disadvantage of the question. But it is one of the useful procedure for getting an initial allocation, rough estimation. It is a it is a, an idea to do the initial allocation, rough estimation. Then to do the rough estimation, we have another method. Called the least cost method. Least cost method. So, least cost method is the second procedure. Most of the time, this will provide slightly better answer. So, again, we consider. the problem one which we have taken what is the problem one we have taken i remember we have taken a problem with 3 by 4 initial problem this problem 43 so let us take the problem again we will solve this problem by least cost method let us take this problem we will solve this problem by least cost method first problem sir give one so, minute sir we will write sir one minute yeah, yeah i am also writing so we take the problem and get one rough table We have three factories A, B, and C. Four markets D1, D2, D3, D4, and supplies. I take down the same structure. and supply so the supply 11 units 13 units 19 units then i also put the requirements demand 6 10 12 15 so we need to follow some procedures here it is only a procedure it is only a convention either you can keep two tables with you or it is always better to have the information in one table that is only a convention you can have always two tables but you cannot always do the calculations with the two table so it is better to keep the information in one table so what we do okay. in the table what we do the table the cost i put it on the right corner it is only a convention the cost information i keep it in the right corner 
so right corner always stands for transportation cost It is only a convention. Convention. It is only a convention for our convenience. We keep the information always plus. When we do problem, we may do lot of calculations. It would be better to keep the data in one table always. So least cost method. The first step: identify the cell which is having lowest cost. Next, the first allocation there, which is the cell having lowest cost. One four sir. One four. One three. One three. Or one four. L number one four. L number one four. Lowest cost is thirty. Okay. So the factory can supply eleven. The factory can supply eleven. And availability fifteen. So. Requirement 15, availability 11. I supply the 11 units here. The 11 units get exhausted. The 15 reduced to four. So the supply, entire supply is given here. I remove. Balance three, four, four. One three cancel. Sir Radhika. Sir, there's a lot of noise from your side. Then, once you cancel the row or column, don't consider the cost in that row or column. In the available table, what is the lowest? Two three. Sir. Two comma three. Cell number two three lowest cost is fourteen. So we compare the lowest cost fourteen. Requirement is twelve. Availability thirteen. So the twelve units. So allocation we are keeping at the center of the cell. That is the reason I told you have to keep some convention because we are going to fill lot of information. The twelve it is reduced to one. Now the column three it is cancelled, so you have to cancel only this portion. So column three already it is cancelled partially by previous allocation. Now column three is over. In the left out cell, again what is the lowest? Sir, not clear, sir. Uh, there are two, sir. Actually, two, two columns there. Two, one, two, one, and three, two, sir. You can make any allocation. Two one and three. At two places we get lowest. You can make at any place, but it is if you do a computer programming as a programmer style, we consider whichever cell will come first. So the row wise, whichever comes first, two one. We we'll make the allocation. It is only a convention. We cannot do random allocation. 
we can do anything but as a computer programming like programming we consider first row whichever the row number first it is 3 1 then 4 2 so instead of having 4 2 first number we use it is only a practice it is only there is no hard and fast rule if you use this practice everybody will be getting the same answer that is the idea so i use the first cell because i have two places the first one 3 1 the second one 4 2 i use this first letter sir so 2 1 and 3 and 2 fine ah uh, 2 1 Under three two. Two cells with two the one same. Three two. Same. Two one. Yeah, yeah. Two one and three two. First number I consider lowest. So I go and allocate to the cell here. So requirement is six. Availability is one. So I one. can make one, one allocation here. This one is cancelled. So this is reduced to. Five. So that means the second row it is getting getting over. So my second row getting over. So that means this cell is over. This cell is over. So now I comfortably left out with only one row. I cannot compare anything else. Sir, what? If you look at first row, second row, everything is blocked. third row only one row is left out that is requirement you file five 10 5. and 4 availability is 19 so 5 10 4 availability 19 is over 4 is 10 is over is 5 is getting over so now You just to do the calculation. What is the cost? Eleven into thirteen, one thirty and one forty-three. First allocation, second allocation, seventeen into one. Third allocation, twelve into fourteen. One sixty-eight. One sixty-eight. One sixty-eight. One sixty-eight. Eight. Then five into thirty-two. One sixty. One sixty. Ten into seventy. One seventy. Four into forty-one. One sixty-four. Fifty. Six. What is the total? Eight twenty two. Eight. Eight twenty two. 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 Sir, one doubt, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, yes. uh, if the same, if the same value is coming in uh, two different cells, uh, that here in this case that seventeen mm. is coming in two different cells. So we have, we will consider the one okay. in the first. The, uh, the is it is it that? Yeah. You can do, but there is no. Correct answer here. We are not getting the final answer. I told it is only rough allocation. If you choose another seventeen, you will get different answer. That is possible. You can get two different answers for this problem. Very much possible. Sir, if we consider the C two, will it be wrong with the answer? 
yes that is also an, another answer for this problem more than one solution clear sir then i the bigger problem which we solve now so this problem i know that this will cover almost many things which we have done so far again we cover this one using least cost method because you have lot of tie breaker lot of things you have to think and do can you start can you complete the problem yes sir yes sir we will complete and come back sir i will solve parallelly you can cross check once you i will take 2 minutes break then i will start the problem so that you can cross check your answer already the problem is taken down by you go back to previous page sir kindly ah wait there sir there wait sir i solve the problem parallelly i use the same table for filling or allocation i use this pen for filling that so printed information that is cost quotation cost allocation will be done by the manual pen so the first allocation the lowest cost is 1 it appears in many places so the first allocation i make it to the cell i make it to the cell first one so 20 i allocate the 20 here i allocate the 20 here I allocate twenty here. Then this is cancel. This thirty 
reduced to 10. Again, in the remaining table, the lowest cost, again it's 1, the same row. So, I allocate, I allocate to this 10. To this 1 and reduce this 30 to 20. So, what happened in the process? Factory 1 over. So, I remove this number, I remove this portion. So, table 1, row 1 is removed completely. Again, in the table, what is the lowest cost? Again, one. Sir, again in the uh, second uh, row, sir, four two one is there, no, sir. Two four. Two four. This place and this place. This is two four. This is four two. So lowest the I consider at the convention. So, allocate to this sir, one. Could you, sir, could you kindly tell that convention again, like uh, how to consider the rows and columns, which is to be considered first? One is coming in two places. Two by four, cell number two, four. Another occasion, it is coming at L42. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So I consider the lowest in the first place. Three ninety, sir. Once your doubt is over, you can mute your microphone. Unable to speak. Mr. Biswas. Then I consider the one is coming in two places, two four and four two. I choose the the first place lower. So are the row which comes first, that is the easiest one. The row which comes first, I choose always. So, the requirement is 10. I allocate the 10. It reduced to 40. The process is 10 is over. So, that means market for getting exhausted. Again, the lowest is 1. It comes here. 4, 2. Requirement is 40. Availability 20. I supply this 20 from this factory. So it is reduced to 20. Sir, I am not that able to slide. That means this factory 3, factory 4 cannot do anything. Then, in the reduced table, what is the lowest cost? 2 is the lowest cost, 2 is coming in 3 places, 3, 3 2, 3, 6. Where will we allocate? 3, 2. 3, 2. We allocate to 2, 2, 3. We allocate to 2, 2, 3. Availability, 40. Requirement, 20. 
so the 20 can be allocated to this cell so in the process market 3 requirements are given and 20 is given so it is reduced to 20 that means market 3 you don't need anything so it is removed again 2 comes as the lowest we are giving to the first one 3 2 and this is 3 6 first one we allocate 20 and 75 so 20 is given out of 75 it is reduced to 55 this 20 is given so this is reduced so column 1 over column 2 over column 3 over column 4 over you are left out with a small 2 by 2 table again what is the lowest again lowest is 2 so requirement 25 availability 55 so 25 is given so this is reduced to 30 so in the process market 6 is over now if you look at we are left out with only one column 20 and 30 requirement is 50 so 20 is given here 30 is given here you check what is the cost 450 cost is your answer so somebody got the answer total cost is 450 so if you look at in general we have dealt with two procedures northwest corner northwest corner will always and be least more cost. cost than least cost method so least cost method in general will produce better number from 450 to the final answer it is easy whereas what is your starting answer you are getting 800 something you got northwest corner i remember you got some 820 or uh, some answer 822 822 820 so roughly otherwise you will be moving from double the amount to the best cost whereas it is always better to reduce the cost if you are slightly at a better stage List. so 450 is the better better stage to reduce the cost to final than 820 820 also you can reduce but you will take lot of steps so some idea about least cost method sir sir excuse me yeah in the examination how the question will be asked sir will it be asked to do in the lcm and uh, northwest corner also or only one yes sir there, there is only one method they will ask either get an initial solution by northwest corner or get an initial solution by uh, least cost method the third one verbal approximation we are going to discuss now get an initial solution by verbal approximation method so they will specifically ask you they will not ask all the methods if it is northwest least cost Definitely, it is a 5 mark question, smaller thing. You know that the sums are slightly easier to solve. So, not much difficulty. There is third one which we are going to attempt that is slightly a different one. Slightly a different one for which you need to do a lot of calculation that will be coming as a 10 mark question always. Is it clear? Clear, clear sir, clear sir. Okay. The third one, you will be doing lot of calculations. This method, third method, we call it as Vogel's approximation method. Vogel approximation method. 
This will be often asked as a 10 mark question. Get an initial solution, rough solution, by whole approximation method. So, if this is the definitely, it will always provide the best answer. This method will always produce the best answer. But you have to do slightly more calculation. That is the reason it will be always kept as a 10 mark question. So again, for comparison, I take the same problem one, first problem. Can you take the problem one? Same problem. This is the one we have taken. Same problem, I take it for continuation. Because then only you can compare why one method is better. You want to have an answer. So that is the reason I use the same problem for comparison purpose. Sir, one minute, sir. Can we write down? Check, check down. Sir, the slide is not visible, sir. Uh, it is visible. It yeah, is visible. it is visible, sir. Now it is visible. On and off, it goes off from the screen. I don't know whether it is my problem. Your internet problem. Hmm. Or my internet problem. It can be anything. Because I am sending video also. My face is also taking some time. Hmm. Also, the second uh, screen where the problem naturally you cannot predict from which side you have a real problem. These are all orders today. You want to bear with it. Sir, again, we have to draw the same same uh, columns and rows for this problem also. Same, same, same. But we will get a different answer. Calculation procedures are different. We have a Clear, sir. Okay, the first step, say in the table, I put a first calculation, first step calculation that I call the penalty. So the penalty calculation, I will be doing a penalty calculation. So we will be just trying to have one extra space for doing the calculation, penalty calculation. So we will be doing penalty calculation instead of randomly choosing the row or column, this method is going to consider not only cost, what is the next lowest cost? So considering least cost, always consider the lowest cost for your allocation. Now we are going to consider not only the cost, what is the next least cost? So that Next list cost also sometimes push your cost. That is the logic. So, first step, what you have to do? Identify the lowest and the next lowest in every row and every column. I consider the first row. What is the lowest cost and the next lowest? Lowest is 13. Sir, kindly repeat, sir. Identify lowest and the next lowest in the every row. Sir, it is 13 and 11, sir. 13 and 11. 13 and 11. Sir, 11 is supply. Okay. 13 and 15. Sir, one, four. Demand. Don't one, two. one four and one two. First row. One three, and one, one three and one two. One three and one four. So 16 rupees and 13 rupees. So the difference is 13, 3. The so idea is, in sir, here first row, first row, least one is 13. Till this point, we understood. Next least. Oh. Next least means from the second row. First row. No, same row. Same row. Same row, 
next list means 16 yeah correct i think the next list yeah the difference between 16 and 13 3 i have written the 3 here what the idea is the is, sir heading heading j listen the idea sir, is better in case the better heading j you have denoted j what is that heading it is not j i said first calculation penalty calculation okay. first but I put everything under the same box. One box I created, outer box I created. The idea of the three is, in case if you are not in a position to allocate to the lowest, the idea is considering the lowest cost. In case if I am not in a position to allocate to the 13, I will be spending 3 rupees extra for the next lower. That is the idea. Okay, sir. Next Second, least cost idea. That is the idea of the verbal approximation method. So Second cost, uh, row, 14 method? rupees. 14 rupees. 14 is the lower. Next lower is 17. 20. 17. Case, Again, 3. In case if you are not. In case if you are not in a position to allocate to this place, you will be spending 3 rupees extra. That is the meaning. What is the amount you are going to spend extra? We are doing the calculation, the extra cost calculation. How much we will be spending extra in case if you are not in a position to use the lowest? Again, the lowest is yes. 17, 17, sir, lowest. 17 and 18. Next 18, 1. Is one again for repeat the yeah. same thing for column, we will stop there. So, for the column, lowest is 17, next lowest is 21. So, 4 is the missing cost 16 and 17, 1 is the extra spending, 14 and 18, 4 is the extra spending, 13 and 23. 10 is the Ten, extra spending. So we will stop here. We will continue in the next sir, session. Sir, yeah. this 4, yeah. 1, 4, 10, please explain again, sir. 4, if I, 1, seven, 4, 10. I understood sir. that question. If, if sir, I, sir, till this point, we understood 3, 3, 1. Till this point, sir. we understood. Next, 4, 1, for 4, the same, 10. We, we have to take understand. for column wise. Column oh, wise, we have to yeah. and the next okay, list. Okay. okay, okay, fine. We will, we will discuss this in next class. Continue in the next class. Okay, we will stop okay. here. We will continue. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, column wise. Okay, thank you. Column wise. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. First, we have to take for row wise. You, next, we have to take for column wise. Yeah, thank you, Kavita ji. Uh, for Rao, Baga speed gown dog, operations research law. Kakina Danipichawa. Sir, actually, it would be better if Sir can complete this uh, this problem also. Uh. I think it will take 10 minutes, sir, but uh, Sir left the class. It's a matter uh, because of finance management will come. Kakina. Athira will quote at the to my Samudran to Anipicha. Sir, we will listen to it. You cannot be in uh, Hello. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Myself, Dr. Chandrasekhar. Oh, Waiting for you. Yes, good sir, afternoon. Yes. Can you hear me? Chandrasekhar, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Chandrasekhar, sir. Wanakam, sir. Yes, one of them. Put it in here. Or an emission or end an emission or rest to put in the sir. Subject to copper of subject, subject to copper of subject. Okay, either pull a or an emission or end an emission, rest to put in the sir. Okay, okay, okay. 
మల్లేశ్వర రావు నేను రెండు నిమిషాలు అడిగితే ఐదు నిమిషాలు చేస్తాను చంద్రశేఖర్ సార్ ఉంగ ఇష్టం స్టార్ట్ పండలామా స్టార్ట్ పండుంగ last class we discussed about in retained earnings retained earnings that means cost of capital right yeah yes sir yes cost of capital different models yes so cost of capital different models we discussed in the previous class uh, in the last week members okay so like the cost of equity capital debt capital different capital and the retained earnings Uh, and CAPA method and total uh, overall liquid all risk cost of capital Excuse also we have Excuse me, there is a sound problem. What madam? Sound there problem. is a sound problem. Sound problem. No, no sound problem. It is problem. come from uh, participant uh, side. If you are going to... Yeah, that's up, right. Uh, but you are clearly time. audible, sir. Yes, okay, okay. So this is the next concept. It's an hour clear. okay next concept we are going to discuss about uh, leverage it is a important uh, concept using in the um, um, organization before going to fix the capital structure i already said in the last class about the capital structure capital structure means the total required uh, required capital how we are going to raise proportionately uh, or how we are going to give weightage in between the debt and equity finance it is called the uh, capital structure Uh, when you are going to fix the capital structure it is not easy one the capital structure directly will affect the equity shareholders return so uh, the fixing proper combination is very much important before that we have to analyze our uh, um, organization very very uh, whether any any uh, leverage point is influencing or any factor is influencing to change the sales or earnings of the equity shareholders etc that concept is called leverage um uh, this concept we using in the physics also you already know that i have given uh, um example in uh, slide itself the image in the slide itself if you want to get huge success we have to use some lever to lift the weight from one place to or to move the weight from one place to another place so the huge success is return if you want to get the return we have to mix the debt and equity combination properly so how can mix 
things we are going to discuss in the uh, following slides. It is an investment strategy uh, using borrow, uh, borrowed money, specifically the use of various finance instruments, uh, like financial instruments, debt and equity, preference shares. Uh, sometimes if it is an existing firm or existing organization, we use the retained earnings also. Um, also, a leverage can also refer to the amount of debt a firm uses to finance asset. One side borrowing money, another side creating assets. Financing for assets. So which combination of fund is uh, helpful for us or which combination of fund will maximize the equity shareholders return? That things you can analyze with the help of leverage. It is, analysis, uh, it is a technique used by the business firm to quantify the risk and the return relationship. If you are expecting more return, at the same time, risk will be more. So what is the relationship between risk and return? That can be measured with the help of leverage concept. If the risk and return relationship is more, that means uh, if you going to uh, do negative effect in the organization or ne negative effect in the uh, uh, income, we can uh, bring up capital structure like minimizing uh, debt to portion and maximizing debt to portion or minimizing equity portion and maximizing the debt to portion. That outrage can do or bring alternative option um, of capital sector uh, to minimize the risk. There are three types of uh, leverages. One is called operating um, financial leverage. One, the other one is uh, combined leverage. Operating leverage will measure the operating profit, uh, uh, that means the percentage change in the operating profit. That means whether the sales is going to vary or the operating profit of the concept is going to vary with the effect of fixed cost. The cost can categorize into fixed cost, variable cost. You already know that. If you think of when we are going to compare uh, the total cost, when you are going to talk about the total cost of your organization, a portion cost can categorize into fixed cost, a portion can categorize into variable cost. Um, fixed cost will not change according to the sales or production of the organization. For example, if you're building or if your business running in a rental build, the rent will not change based on the number of unit sales or number of unit production. Rent is same, rent is constant. At the same time, same like that, if you are going to uh, borrow some around 10 lakh rupees, whether you are going to produce or not, the depreciation for 10 lakh rupees will be same and rate of interest for 10 lakh rupees will be same up to certain number of year. So those things are considered as fixed cost. Variable cost means when the cost will change according to the number of unit sales or number of unit production. For example, if we are going to talk about our family, the family expenditure also can categorize into fixed expenditure or uh, variable expenditure. Fixed expenses um, uh, is constant one. When we are giving the uh, house rent, or uh, when we are giving some uh, um, uh, uh, subscription, like newspaper subscription, etc., cable TV subscription, etc., this all is considered fixed one. Maintenance, the maintenance charges also, sir, for yes, apartments. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, in case of we are purchasing groceries, that expenses will purchase uh, payment for the groceries will vary from according to the uh, market tradition. particular goods. Yes. Excuse me. Sir, your voice is breaking, sir. For everyone? Yes, sir. It's reverberating. Yes, sir. It's reverberating. Okay. Not moving anywhere. Okay. So, variable cost will change according to the degrees of sales or uh, degrees of sales or uh, due to the change in the sales or changes in the production. So the operating leverage using to measure the relationship between operating profit to sales. It is defined as the firm's ability to use a fixed operating cost to magnify the effect of changes in the sales on its earnings. Normally, if it's a fixed cost, the operating leverage portion will be more. If there is no fixed cost, operating leverage, um, uh, there will not be any operating leverage. That means by use of fixed cost, fixed operating cost in the business, it will bring changes in the operating profit. So that can be measured. How much will be total uh, fixed cost? How did it influence the uh, operating profit of the concern? Can, can identify it in the name of operating leverage by using this formula? 
contribution by operating leverage is equal to contribution by ABIT. If we are unable to identify the contribution or ABIT or whatever the thing, so this alternative formula can use degree of operating leverage is equal to percentage changes in uh, ABIT and percentage change in sales. There will be two ABIT, there will be two sales. So difference in uh, ABIT and difference in uh, sales can bring to identify the operating leverage. And in case of financial leverage, it is deals with the um, financial expenses or um, uh, fixed financial charges bearing by the organization. Like what is called fixed financial charges. If in case of except equity shareholder, if company borrowing money or company raising fund through dividend, there will be a constant rate of interest or payment of fixed rate of interest to be settled to the demanger holders. That is called fixed uh, finance charges. In addition to that, if there is a preference share also issued by the company, so what is the fixed rate of preference shares dividend? That also constant to the company. The both are considered as fixed financial charges. After paying up to preference shareholders dividend, if there is any excess profit, excess profit will go to the equity shareholder. So the mix of debt and equity, if there is a more debt finance, if there is a more preference finance, than the equity shares, how it is going to influence in the equity shareholders earning per share? That can be measured with the help of financial leverage. It is equal uh, with the, uh, exactly we can use financial leverage um, when we are preparing the capital structure. And uh, so both combined leverage, the both are how it is going to influence in the sales, operating leverage as well as the financial leverage, how it is going to influence in the equity shareholders return that can be measured by using combined leverage by multiplying the average leverage and financial leverage i'm going to share uh, excel sheet so it is a continuous one already with you i already shared the link here we are going to measure the form already i have brought formulas and etc can you follow me Yes, sir. Okay. Can you see this one? Excel sheet? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We can see it. Okay. So, I already explained about the profitability statement in uh, capital budgeting itself. When we are preparing capital budgeting, there either um, when we are going to analyze the capital capital budget project through the payback period method or average rate of return method or internal discounting factor or whatever may be the case first we have to prepare the profitability statement to know the uh, fund available to the or uh, income available to the equity shareholders the same statement with the same concept we are going to follow here it's called a profitability statement so this is a formula a firm sells it's only product at rupees 12 per unit. It's variable cost rupees 8 per unit. This variable cost 8 rupees will change according to the number of unit sales or number of unit production. Present sales are 10,000 units. Calculate the operating leverage in each of the following situations. They are asking to calculate operating leverage. You see, there are three situations given by them. When fixed cost is rupees 10,000 or fixed cost is increased to 12,000, when fixed cost is increased to 15,000 rupees. So this is a formula. Operating leverage is equal to contribution by ABIT. That means how this fixed cost is going to influence in the operating profit of your concern. That only we are going to discuss here. If fixed cost is increasing, whether it is going to influence more or operating leverage will be more or less, you can estimate with the help of using this formula. For that, we have to prepare profitability statement. Can you follow me? Yes, sir. This is a profitability statement. Okay. So at a time, we can uh, calculate for all three options. This is a situation one or point A, we can mention like that, this is for point B and point C. Okay. 
So sales is the main factor. Sales. How many units selling by them? Totally ten thousand units. Selling price also comes sold per unit, right? Yeah. So sales, how many unit? Ten thousand units into twelve per unit. It will be one lakh twenty thousand, na? Yes, sir. So one lakh twenty thousand will be sales in all situation. Okay. Sales less variable cost. So variable cost is by them how much variable cost variable cost is 8, 8 rupees unit. sir yes 8 rupees per unit this is also constant in all aspect 8 rupees okay so how many units 10000 units 10000 units 80000 80000 for all okay 80000 for all situation 80000 80000 Okay, the differences okay. between sales and variable cost is called a contribution. Forty thousand, sir. Forty thousand, sir. All A, B, C, all forty thousand. Forty thousand. Less fixed cost. Yes. Less. Fixed cost. Now the fixed cost is changed. Yes, sir. There are three situation is given given by them. For first situation, fixed cost is ten thousand rupees. For second situation, fixed cost is twelve thousand. Third situation, twelve thousand. Third situation, fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yes. Okay. Now we can calculate the differences between contribution and fixed cost is called a operating profit or earning before interest and tax. It's called a operating profit or also called a N E B I T earning before in that means before deduction of interest before of taxation we have uh, identified that we have operating profit of thirty thousand rupees. Yeah. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. Right. This is called the operating profit. So what are the information is required for us to calculate the operating leverage? Contribution and EBIT. EBIT. We have calculated both. Right. Yes, sir. Now we can calculate operating leverage. Equal to how much the contribution for this one? Forty thousand. So we can apply the same formula: contribution by EBIT. Contribution. How much contribution? One thousand divided by operating profit. One point three three, sir. Okay. Forty thousand divided by twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight. And here forty thousand. One point three three. Three three times. One point four three. This one. One point four three. One point four. One point four three. This one. And one point six zero. One point six zero. This is called operating leverage. Now, how to interpret this one? If they are asking to interpret the operating leverage, here, if where uh, um, operating leverages will increase for every changes in the fixed cost here, operating profit will increase for every change in the. Fixed cost. If fixed cost is increased, automatically operating profit also going to increase. 
at the same time where fixed cost is increased the risk of the business is also going to increase why you are saying like that sir if we are ready to bear the more uh, ready to bear more risk automatically we can get more benefit from the business or from the market so how the risk will going to uh, increase if in case of fixed cost is going to increase if business is growth oriented firm or growth oriented business no problem we can uh, manage or unexpectedly if income of the business is going to falling down we have to bear the fixed cost no other go you mm. see whether the production is uh, yeah whether we are producing or not we have to pay the fixed charge of uh, electricity bill or fixed uh, charge of rent or uh, fixed em uh, in installment charges etc etc everything will be there yeah. salaries everything right yeah okay so here for every uh, one time change in the fixed cost 1.33 time will change in the operating profit okay so we have, to, we have to keep it in our mind sir, here here, uh, here please explain again sir could you kindly uh, repeat it like uh, here every like, uh, interpretation sir interpretation here every 1.33 Every one percent change in the operating profit, sorry, one percent change in the um, fixed cost will influence in the business. Will influence in the operating profit at one point three three time. Uh, uh, like for example, me sir. Sir, a variable cost, no, sir. Uh, how, uh, what could that cost be, sir? An example for the variable cost? Variable cost, variable price, lab price, right? What, sir? What price? Material, material cost. Okay, that would be constant. That will not vary, sir. We have taken it as constant. Variable cost means it will be right. It will be on the production, production number of product. Yeah, production is going to increase. What will happen? Variable cost per okay. unit will not change, but the total amount will going to change. Okay, okay, sir. For example, for a package of material is 10 rupees means 10 rupees is constant, but the total variable cost will vary. Correct, sir. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, but fixed cost is not like that. Fixed cost, total Rent. cost is constant. But rate for rate for uh, fixed cost will vary. If you are going to produce number of units, it will be benefit to you. This is a marginal cost uh, concept. Okay, so got it. Sir. Okay, so here every possible sir, change in the same. Yes, yes. Sir, so how can we correlate? Uh, you know, a profitability and uh, operation leverage. So, when the fixed cost is increasing, operating profit is reducing and the risk is increasing accordingly. The risk is risk will increase at the same time. Uh, uh, when one person change in the sales, there will be 1.3 time uh, will changes in the operating profit. So, we have to keep it in our mind. If one person going to change in the sales, automatically it will influence in the operating profit. At the same time, one person going to reduce, it will, say, it will bring change in the operating uh, profit. Uh, means it's directly proportional, right? Proportionate basis. Pardon? Okay, so, pro proportionate uh, basis it will uh, bring change in the uh, operating profit of the business. Loss. Okay. That exactly you can measure by using the degree of operating leverage. If you're going for, um, if you want to say in percentage, we can use the degree of operating leverage. Okay, sir. Any doubt? It's okay, sir. So, if this, uh, uh, if there is a high degree of uh, uh, operating levels, will uh, bring highest large changes in the operating profit. Based on the cost experience, they can uh, bring proper combination. Okay, based on the cost experience. 
this everything is based on the expected information na for example uh, um even when business is going to start when before going to mobilize the finance itself they can uh, Um, uh, test their operating uh, leverage and financial leverage. Then they can go for uh, preparation of proper capital structure or optimum capital structure. Okay. If a firm have more uh, or uh, um, large number of or high degree of operating leverage, that will bring large changes in the operating profit. Ah, uh, okay. So positive three times. Yes. The more, the more, the more operating, the more is the operating leverage, the more is the possibility of the firm to, I mean, uh, grow in financial means, right? Yes. Okay. So changes in the operating profit. Okay. It may be the negative or it may be the positively. You you see the operating profit of the concern is reduced, you know, operating profit for uh, fixed cost is increased. Uh, from ten thousand to fifteen thousand, right? Hello. Yeah, profit got reduced. Yes, sir. Profit got reduced. Ten thousand point. Yeah, ten thousand to fifteen thousand rupees. That effect brought in the that effect shown in the operating profit. Operating profit is reduced from thirty thousand to twenty five thousand, right? Yes, sir. So the op this operating leverage you you can correlate this last point C one point six with the operating profit. If operating leverage is more, there will be large changes in the operating profit. It may be the positively or negatively. Understand? Sir. Okay. I'll show you the next example for you. Okay. This is the next one. If there is no fixed cost, what will be what will happen? We can test here. X limited sales ten thousand units of rupees. Ten uh, thousand uh, units at the rate of uh, rupees twenty per unit. The cost of production is rupees fourteen per unit. The firm has a fixed cost of rupees ten thousand. Assume that the sales of X Limited increased by fifty percent. Calculate the operating leverage for uh, current situation and also calculate degree of uh, operating leverage. DOL means degree of operating leverage if there is no fixed cost. They are asking two situation. First one, first situation, calculate operating leverage for current, and if 50% sales is increasing, and third one, third one is if there is no fixed cost, how it is going to change? Here we have to use alternate formula like uh, where two situation sales is given, two situation uh, uh, variable cost and uh, operating profit is given. You see, we cannot use uh, the first formula. This one, uh, EBAT, sorry, contribution by EBAT, we cannot use here. Because there are two situation is given by them where we are going to address both the situation in a single time, single point. There we can use the degree of operating leverage. You can mention through the percentage. The percentage increase in EBIT divided by percentage increase in uh, uh, sales. How to calculate percentages increase in EBIT? Change in profit. That means uh, current situation to future, and same like uh, um, present profit. Same the same concept we can use for calculating the percentage increase in sales also. Here we can calculate or bring same profitability statement. Let us write down the problem, sir. Problem two. You one minute time, sir. Please one minute time, please. Okay, okay, okay. You want to copy problem one? No, sir. This one only. Ah, oh, this one. Okay, okay. We'll refer the sheet, sir. Okay. Sir, you will be sharing this Excel sheet now later. It is already shared, sir. You want link once again? If you if you sir, are going just to just one minute, sir, please. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. The link is already available. You can get from your friends. Otherwise, at the end of session, I will share once again. No, sir. Let me. If we want to follow now, also, just okay. one minute writing the problem. Very good, sir.
Over. One minute, sir. Over, sir. If also, I forgot to tell one thing. You see, operating leverage of uh, point C is more than all other two method. So how we can manage this one or how we can um, um, utilize this one, how we can escape from kind of risk means when we are trying to increase the sales of automatically, the operating leverage will reduce. Because this operating leverage given impact because of uh, uh, fixed cost. You see up to the fixed cost, there is no change in the contribution, right? The contribution for all three situations is same, 40,000, 40,000, 40,000. Right? If there is no changes in the yeah. fixed cost, operating also may be same, 30,000, 30,000, 30,000. The operating profit is reduced because of fixed cost. Fixed cost will not change time to time. Here yeah, the situation is given by them. You can take it as, uh, there are three types of form. Fixed cost will not change. If you want to get benefit from the fixed cost, we have to increase the sales. Right? For example, if producing 100 unit sorry yeah 100 unit the cost total fixed cost for 100 unit is 1000 rupees how much the fixed cost for uh, per unit if you're going to calculate the total fixed cost is 1000 we have produced 100 unit what will be the rate per unit yes sir understand sir yeah, sir if uh, sales we are trying to improve the sales then yes. fixed cost is remaining same then yes. for that profitability will be increasing increasing so higher the operating leverage is giving indicate indicator to us what we have to do we have to manage this one yeah. to increase the sales by using some different uh, um, uh, techniques uh, like promotional activities etc okay this is the second one X limited sales 10,000 units at the rate of rupees 20 per unit. The cost of production is 14 per unit. The firm has a fixed cost is 10,000. Assume that the sales of X limited increased by 50%. You see, they are trying to increase the sales by 50%. Calculate the operating leverage for the current situation and also calculate if there is no fixed cost. The first we will calculate for current situation. This one is the current. And this one is uh, future. Both we can calculate at a, at a time simultaneously. 1.2, sir, and uh, 1.125. 1.25. Okay. You have calculated. First one, one, first point, first one, I think it's 1.2, sir. Okay. Let us sir, calculate, boss. Uh, how much the sales? 10,000 unit, na? Respeed, I think. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> 10,000 unit into uh, 20. Is, uh, 20 rupees, na? 20. Yes. So it will be two lakh. Huh? Two lakh. Two lakh. Okay. And if sales is increasing by fifty percent, fifteen thousand units. Fifty percent increase in sales. Okay. What will happen? Um, 10, fifteen thousand units. units. Fifteen thousand units, no? Into twenty. Three lakhs. So fifteen thousand units into twenty. So it will be three lakhs. Three lakhs. Okay. Then again, uh, less variable cost. Fourteen rupees per unit. Fourteen rupees, no? Yes, fourteen rupees yes. per unit. Fourteen into ten thousand. One point four so lakhs. 40, One lakh forty thousand. Uh, how many unit? Ten thousand units into fourteen rupees. It will be one lakh forty thousand. One lakh forty thousand. Here, yeah. fifteen thousand units. Fifteen thousand into fourteen. Two ten, na? Two lakh ten thousand. Two lakh ten thousand. Okay. Now this is called a contribution. Contribution. Contribution will be sixty thousand. 
and this one ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Right. So contribution yes, is ten thousand fixed. Fixed cost change. This constant ten thousand rupees. Ten thousand rupees. So here operating profit. Fifty thousand, sir. Are also called EBIT. Any before interest and tax, fifty thousand rupees. Yeah. Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand rupees. Yes. Now we can use this formula. Um, Percentage of increase in EBIT. Yes, EBIT. First, you can calculate EBIT. Changes in uh, profit divided by percent profit. EBIT or uh, percentage changes in sixty percent, sir. Sixty percent. Sixty percent. You can if if you are applying this formula, it will uh, give the uh, change in profit. How much change in profit? Ten thousand. <laughs> Sir, 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 fifty thousand is the first profit. Second situation profit eighty thousand. Is a change in profit divided by percent, initial sir. profit. No oh, change. In yeah, profit. thirty thousand by. Yeah, thirty thousand divided by fifty. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Sir, sixty percent. What sir? Sixty percent, sir. Yes, yes. It will be sixty percent. It will be sixty percent. Okay. The same, uh, same like that. Uh, percentage change in gains. So here, um, the difference between the sales one lakh na. Yeah, that is a fifty percent increase in the sales. Yes. Sir, where we get the thirty per thirty thousand, sir? Okay. Wait a minute. You see the formula. If you want to calculate percentage increase in EBIT, change in profit. That means from current situation to future. Differences between fifty thousand to eighty thousand is called thirty thousand, right? Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Divided by present profit. How much the present profit? Our current or present? You can write here. Okay. So the formula is. Hundred. Uh, sorry. Yes. Hundred percent. Okay. So now, the degree of operating leverage. What hundred percent? Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. What hundred percent percentage of increase in sales? Fifty percent. Hey, tell me, sir. No, no. Someone is saying hundred percent percentage of increase in sales. Fifty percent. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Not hundred percent. Yes. Then degree of leverage. Sixty percent by fifty percent, one point two. Point six, right? Point five, right? Yes, sir. It will be one point two times. One point two. Yes. One point two times. That means for every percentage of increase in sales, will bring changes in one point two times in operating profit. Right? Do you have any doubt in this one? So just explain one more time. For every percentage, every single one percent changes in the sales will bring one point two times or one point two percentage change in the operating profit. 
If sales is going to degrees 1,000, same operating profit also going to degrees 1.2 percent. So sales so increasing, and more than that sales, operating profit is increasing. Yes, it will increase. Or uh, sales is going to degrees. Also, it will increase in the operating profit, positively yeah. as well as negative. Right. Yes, sir. The same concept if you are going to use here, if there is no fixed cost, you can assume that if there is no fixed cost, you can use this concept here for both. So what will happen, you see, if there is no fixed cost, EBIT will be the same, right? How, sir? Operating cost will be 60,000 as well as 90,000. This contribution yeah. is itself, yes. is itself called EBIT. Yeah, no fixed cost means? Contribution is equal to EBIT 50,000 and 90,000. 60,000, 90,000, yes, sir. Yes. If you are going to have the same procedure, BOL will be one time. That means no difference. If 1% sales is increased, operating profit also going to increase 1% or one time. Understand? If you are going to use the yeah. same data for last point, you can ask if there is no fixed cost. Here you can Sir. Yes. Sir, um, in the first row, uh, where, uh, where the 15,000 from where it came? 15,000. Yes, 15,000 into 20 equal to 3 lakhs. Yes, yes. So are asking the second the column. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That one, that one, fifty percent sales is increased. Assume you see the second line in the problem itself. Assume that the sales of X Limited increased by fifty percent, right? Fifty percent, yes. Yeah, fifty percent. Fifty percent on ten units because X Limited sales ten thousand units. Huh? Suppose in future, if sales is going to increase 50%, 10,000 yes. plus 50%, it will become 15,000, right? Okay. Okay, sir. Any doubt? Uh, um, uh, sir, one doubt. Are sir, in that question yeah. only, we uh, we are like, uh, this. they're telling the sale is increased by 50% now, sir. Yes, yes. So, and we are again calculating the percentage of change in sale for why, sir? Why is that? Yeah, because we have to bring now, they have given details for 10,000 units. This is a situation. They are asking to calculate, assume, you can assume if sales is increased by 50%. If sales is increased by 50%, how it is going to bring changes in the operating profit? Sir, your voice is very low, sir. I can't hear you properly. Sorry. Oh. Okay, now I'm holding mic. Yes, sir. So even yeah. now, I'm still not get clarified on the 15,000, sir. Can you please repeat again? Because your voice were very few people. Okay. This, this, yeah, this is a present situation. No? X limited sales 10,000 units. Normally at present, they are still 10,000 units. That's all. Right? If suppose in future, if they are planning to increase sales 50%, how many units they can sell in future? The 10,000 units is already there selling in the market. Among the 10,000, 50% of sales is going to increase by them. So instead of 10, in future, 15,000 units they are going to sell in the market. OK, got it, sir. Hello. Thank you. After this full stuff, the concept is over. Fixed cost will not change whether sales is going to increase 200,000, 300,000, etc. Fixed cost is the same. So we have taken the variable cost um, 14 rupees as well as the fixed cost 10,000 rupees. You see, the variable cost, total cost is increased. Variable cost sales less variable cost 14 rupees per unit. You see, for 10,000 unit, 1 lakh 40,000. For 15,000 units, 2 lakh, it will become 2 lakh 10,000 rupees. So variable cost is changed. But you see, fixed cost, is, there is no change in the fixed cost. Fixed cost is same. 10,000 units for uh, 10,000 unit and 10,000 rupees for 15, even uh, 15,000 units. 
This is a concept. Fixed cost remains constant; it will not change. Yeah, yeah. Understand? Clear now, sir. Yeah. Okay. Understood. If you are going to apply the same thing for uh, this option B, you can identify that the DOL will be one time. There will not be any changes. That means if one person change in the sales, the same one person will will give impact on operating. You can identify that one. Next, we can move to the financial leverage. Okay, I already said by use of uh, debt and equity combination, the operating leverage will uh, going to vary. If your uh, firm have more debt to finance, like uh, debentures or uh, more uh, fixed financial. Uh, Uh, charges fin uh, finance. A fixed financial charges means interest uh, as well as a preference uh, share dividend. The both are financial charges to the fixed financial charges to the firm, and they are going for uh, proper uh, um, optimum capital structure or fixing the proper uh, capital structure. They have to check operate uh, financial leverage uh, because more financial leverage will bring more risk to the business. So to minimize the financial leverage, what they can do, they can go for combined or uh, re-alter the capital structure, like uh, minimizing the equity finance, maximizing the debt, or maximizing the debt finance, minimizing the equity finance, or any combination they can fix. Here, according to this uh, um, problem, um, Butta Limited has a choice of the following three financial plan. This three financial plan is called what? Capital structure. Equity share capital for first plan. They have okay, first plan um, equity ca capital. The last one EBIT separate one. Don't get confused with this one. Okay, these two total they need ten lakh rupees. Out of the ten lakh rupees, on what proportion they are going to fix um, on equity as well as on uh, debt? You see six plus four. And like so that means they are focusing sixty percent on equity capital and forty percent on. Debentures, debt to finance. Second plan, fifty percent, fifty percent on both. Third plan, they are giving more weightage on the uh, debt to finance and minimizing the weightage on the equity finance. Right? That's so two lakh and eight lakh. If in this case, EBIT for um, uh, first plan two lakh fifty, second plan also two lakh fifty, third plan also two lakh fifty. EBIT means earnings before interest and the tax. It will be constant. That okay. is given in the data. Yeah, given in the data. Because EBIT. they have not given any sales or uh, any additional cost, variable cost, fixed cost. Ah. They have not given anything, right? Directly they have yeah. given EBIT itself. Ah. Okay. So now we no need to go for um, um, profitability statement. That means uh, up to EBIT we have data. Okay. So yeah. you are required to ascertain the financial leverage in each case and interpret it. you are asking to calculate financial leverage to calculate the financial leverage this is the formula ebit by ebt that means earning before interest and tax divided by earning before tax earning before tax means after payment of interest charges okay to calculate that one we have to go for profitability statement Okay, EBIT is given by them. EBIT, earning before interest and tax. There are the three financial plan. Plan one, plan two, plan three. Yes. We can make plan one. Open. Oh. So, this one we can copy and paste. And one two, we two lakh fifty thousand each. Okay. Now, less. Even your interest or interest on even just. How much the interest for even just? 
sir data in data they have not mentioned the interest portion sir 10% sir 10% debenture 10% okay that means 40000 10.4 lakh rupees 40000 yeah 40000 and 10% on 50, 10 5 lakh na 5 lakh 50000 50000 then 80000 plan 2 50000 plan 3 80000 80000 now right sir meaning before tax the interest on the ebt yeah gaining before tax 10000 2 lakh and uh, 1 lakh 70 2 lakh and 1 lakh 70 70 1 lakh 70000 right Yes, sir. Now we can apply this formula financial leverage 1.19. Yes, uh, financial leverage is equal to BIT 2,50,000 divided by 2,10,000. 2,50,000 2, yes. divided by 2,50,000 2, divided by 1,70,000. Uh, tell me Then for the three plans, we got the financial leverage ratios. Yes. Is it percentage? Huh? Time. Percentage. Time. No, no. How to understand that ratios? Interpret. Yeah, I'll tell you, sir. Okay. Percentage. You see, um, this will give the relationship between debt and equity finance combination. Okay, you see, if, if, if you are giving more weightage on the debt to finance, your financial leverage will be more. That, that means it will do more risk also. Okay, if every change in one percentage of sales will bring changes in the before tax up to 1.47 times. Sir, kindly explain one more. Every change for every percentage change in sale will bring one point four seven percentage of um, changes in earnings before tax. EBT now previously we compared operating profit. Now we are comparing with the EBT earning before tax. Right. Uh, sir, that interpretation is enough. Which one? Yeah, that's enough. If you are giving more, if you are going for more combination or uh, uh, giving more weightage on the debt to finance, your financial will be more. You see, according to the three plan. Uh, the debt sir, and the if, relationship 60, 60, 60. Sir, if I have to, as a financial manager, if I have to give the uh, recommendation, I have to recommend plan number one because the financial leverage ratio is less. Uh, yeah, that, that uh, we can sir? Give based on the return, sir, return, any capacity of the business. No, sir. After calculating the financial leverage ratios, yes. Plan one, one point one nine. Plan yes, two, one point two five. Plan three, yes, one point four seven. After yes. that, which plan I have to recommend to the board? Is it That's plan so one? Saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I'm saying 
we cannot uh. um, uh, recommend based on this on operating financial leverage like a um, plan one plan two plan three okay if you are having more combination or uh, giving more weightage on the debt to finance your operating leverage will be more so accordingly you have to increase your rate of return understand if if you are not able to understand more, sir that portion yes sir if your rate of return is more definitely you can focus on uh, um, uh, plan p if there is more uh, um, uh, or higher level of financial leverage there will be a higher risk if you can for, at the same time we can bit, uh, get the highest rate of return if your business have highest rate of return you can go for uh, plan 3 otherwise we should not go for plan 3 uh, we have to choose either plan 1 or plan 2 sir means uh, whenever the financial leverage is on the lower side more healthy is the business right a uh, more healthy is the business yes. but um, yes um, sir, at the same less. time uh, yes uh, tell me sir business business will not have fund for uh, their expansion or growth oh, okay sir okay 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 what is the reason began that means the interest what they are giving you know you see for yeah. um, ebit ebt earning before tax for uh -huh. plan 1 is 2 lakh 10000 plan 2 is 2 lakh and plan 3 is 1 lakh 70 yes even because of uh, we have given more interest to the debenture holder okay when the as per yes. the international level the optimum capital structure means when our business have more weightage on the debt to finance and less weightage on the equity finance it is called the optimum capital structure here yeah, the plan 3 oh. is optimum capital structure if you have more earning capacity we can go for choosing plan 3 but you have to keep it in our mind for every 1% changes in the sales it will give impact on 1.447 time in earning before uh, earning before tax okay okay the risk is on the higher side yeah yes yes for earning capacity is more we can choose uh, three okay sir okay so based on this only they will go for fix which which method is uh, they will analyze the business uh, uh, um, earning capacity also based on this information alone based on financial leverage alone we cannot give uh, recommendation to the people recommendation to the businessman plan 1 is better uh, two is better plan 3 is better we cannot give some other factor also we have to measure that we don't have data regarding to the sir. other factors like uh, what is the earning capacity right okay tell me madam excuse me sir yes sir so you mean to say that it depends uh, that the decision depends on the management right if they are ready to take the risk as the return yes. is more they can go for yes. it so if they doesn't the want to more, take a chance for plan c yes okay if they doesn't want to take a chance they go and go for plan 1 yes this this leverage will give the um, 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 relationship between uh, two variables that's all okay so the decision Same depends system. on the management yes management they will consider oh. other factors also so as a financial manager we can give these options as possibilities yes. and the risk also yes yes but these are the main criteria they will take to prepare the capital structure okay okay So the operating financial leverage they will take um, because they know that financial as a finance manager they know that what is the status of their business in the environment right so uh, that's what you mean to say as a financial manager we can just give the option of this and give we can suggest if we are yes, ready to take the risk we can go for plan 3 yes. yes yes okay based on this combination they go for sir. understood sir okay. so you mean to say some other data also is required not yes, only yes. on the based on the financial leverage i cannot give the recommendation some yes, other yes. data also required and then yes we have to give the interpretation and recommendation yes sir okay sir okay so it, it is giving class is over sir for today is yes, sir i think class is over for today yeah time is up Uh, have given two more problem also. Um, uh, those we can discuss on uh, tomorrow. Next class, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like. Thank you. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, uh, yes, yeah. Tell me. Hey, what's up, Pochindi? He received yeah, what's up, I think. 
this shape a google sheet can you please share now in this chat box yes just a minute think we receive the whatsapp call Yes, sir. Sir, it's 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 just in your system only. We couldn't get that link. I have posted, na. No? We need a problem. Yeah, got it, sir. Got it. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So the remaining two problems we'll discuss on tomorrow, and after that we'll go for um, uh, working capital management. Okay, then theoretical aspect you can see like um, uh, um, capital structure decisions and uh, um, dividend policy etc. Those things if you have time we'll discuss. Otherwise uh, uh, tomorrow we'll go for uh, working capital management. And yes, there could you please, uh, sir? Could you please share the slide link also? Because yeah. we got the Google link, uh, but uh, I missed that slide link. Okay, now itself I'll share. Got it. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, sir, uh, the yeah. re recording of this class, sir, is, will it be uploaded in the this in YouTube, sir? Yes, sir. Or, uh, because be because from last week, even last week also they have not uploaded, sir. Yeah, I have seen. I'll ask them to upload. Okay, it will, but the, it will okay, be available. Sir. Okay, you'll get. It will come in YouTube now. Okay, yeah, just yeah. in case if you want to just refer and case. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We help you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, sir. We'll meet on tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. friends can anybody tell me that have you received any postal uh, additional book which uh, uh, we have got we had got in the whatsapp group posted like a consumer relation book something they had posted that we will get through postal address the additional book have anybody received it no i have not received no okay because they had mentioned in the whatsapp group saying that from september end to october they have posted no no ma'am yeah, they have declared it but nobody received it nobody received it yet and we have asked for that also they said they will check again okay thank you <laughs>